Runk. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I will be in Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Boise, Salt Lake, Utah, Tucson, Pueblo, Colorado, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, Colorado for some reason, Charlotte, Knoxville, Little Rock, Arkansas, Nashville, Tennessee, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Montreal, Hamilton, Ontario, Cleveland, Ohio, Detroit, Orlando, Fort Myers. Uh, that's where I will be. Get your tickets at crystalia.com for the Don't Push Me Tour. Um... And that's that. I'm adding more dates. I know you guys are uh, always like, well, why aren't you coming here? It doesn't matter where I go, where I post. You guys are always like, well, why didn't you come here? Well, first of all, I've been there probably, or I'm coming. I just haven't announced it yet. But thank you uh, for coming out. And those are the tickets, chrisley.com. Uh, so without further ado, this is the new episode of Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> My hair's looking fancy, man. See, that's the thing. I, you know, I never know. I washed my hair, and then sometimes I, that day it's banging, and then sometimes it's not. The, it's the next day that's banging. And I wash my hair today, and it's banging. And I wash my hair every three, four days, and that's what's up, dude. Everyone says I look greasy, and it's all good, my babies. I look greasy, but I'm not greasy, man. I'll tell you what. I'm probably one of the cleanest dudes you know when it comes to, uh, you know, smells and all that stuff i brush my teeth all the time shower all the time only thing i don't do every day is wash hair because i heard it's bad for it but i don't really know if i subscribe to all that maybe it's bad to uh wash your hair every day but people are like you gotta leave the gre the grease on it because you know it's healthy for the hair hair it's not healthy to to always wash it it dries it out I, I do what i want when it comes to that kind of stuff and what i want to do is be clean but you know sometimes i feel i don't know and my hair's looking, anyway, my hair's looking good. And uh and that's that about the hair stuff, really. The hair the hair stuff really is that's what's up. I um well, I mean, I had a crazy great week. Um which is the, you know the uh what should I talk about first? I had well, let's just talk about the baby. I mean, we had a baby and Congratulations to me and my wife and Calvin and all of the family members and extended family and and you know what, dude, we got another uh, baby in the log cabin that's uh, that's going to help build it. Uh, his name is William McHenry Delia, and uh, he is beautiful and he's very healthy and he's strong too. Uh, he rolled over. It's been five days and he already rolled over. That's not common. They say like it takes like a, a few months. And William goes like this, no, <laughs> uh-uh, um, and rolled over in five days. So that's great. Uh, I, 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 it's, I, it's so wild becoming a dad again. Uh, I, people say that like, oh, congratulations, you're a dad again, which is weird to me because you're still a dad. You're, 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 you've been a dad. You're not a dad again. You're a double, a double dad now. And, um, so it's a, it's, it's, you know, we're in that post partum thing where it's been six days and, you know, I don't know how to even, I'm reminded of all this feeling, which is wild because, you know, William hasn't really opened up his eyes yet. I mean, he kind of opens up and looks every now and then, but then he's like, uh, I liked it better on the inside. You know, he's like one of those convicts that's like, I, I've been away for so long. I don't know how to do this anymore. I want back in. And then just robs a bank, not even to get the money, just to get back in there. But you can't go back into the womb. It's destroyed at this point, you know? So um, we don't know if we're going to call him William or Billy or Will or 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 Willie. Billy Boy, we're calling him a lot. You know, he's a little little boy, but you don't know, call him out when he gets to be older. But I like the one of the reasons why I like William, first of all, is my dad's name. And second of all... It's the kind of name where you got a lot of nicknames you can pick, you know, Chilliam, Chili, Chili Boy, you know, Trillium, which is cool when he gets older. What up, Trillium? You know, Willie Minnelli probably shouldn't say that, but you know, it's, it is, it is, uh, it, he could pick and we can pick too. So we don't know what we're going to call him, but William is his name and, uh, it's great. And it's really fantastic. And we went into, uh, first of all, my wife at the end there, 
her brain, it was like it was filled with just, you name it, uh, what is it, the silly putty. She was just so, what? You know who she was like? The right arm. I'm his right I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his right arm hand man. I'm his silly rabbit. Is that what he calls you? No. That was what my wife was by the end of it. I would be like, would you like a sandwich? And she'd be like, what's it? What is it? What is that? Uh, well, there's turkey in it. No, what's a sandwich? Dude, it was insane. There has been a scrape on our car. Her car. It's annoying. It's annoying. And, you know, because, look, I'm not women scrape cars. And, um, you know, and it's not because they're, they don't know how to drive. That is that is a fallacy. When people say there's a sexist trope going around like, oh, women can't drive. I don't subscribe to that. Women, they don't care. See, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, women can't drive. That's not true. It's women they don't care about your possessions, right? So when there's a curb, they go like this. Oh, you know what? I'll try that one. <laughs> and then you go, what the? You scrape the rip. And they and they say, well, don't yell at me. And then you feel bad. Yes, dude. They got it all figured out, right? But um, yeah. And so, 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 so that's, so we had a scrape on the side of the, car and it's from uh, of all things our own gate all right all right so not something that she doesn't know about because you know why dude because it's our own gate right and it's always there okay so she scrapes it she doesn't just scrape it once. She scrapes it twice. Here's the great. Here's the best thing about it. Same exact place. You not even two scrapes. So I'm like, wow, that's amazing. How do you even do that? So she's scraping it. This is months ago, and I and I and I walk out and I say, babe, you scraped the side of the thing, and she was like, I, I don't know. I, see, it's because you parked too close, and already I'm just like, oh, stop the cab. Okay. You got plenty of feet on the other side, so let's use it. Um, and she does. She doesn't want to get close to the bloody guts. I get it. She doesn't want to scrape the bloody guts, so she'd rather scrape the gear. It's better to scrape one car than two cars. That's fine, right? One time, my uncle backed up my dad's car into his other car, and it's all good. It, you know, you got to take two of the cars in. But so she scraped it. I saw it with. My own eyes. Somehow it's my fault. So I say, oh, you know, you know what? Okay, fine. I got mad, but I tried to swallow it. You know, it's real hard to swallow my anger because you can still tell I'm mad. You know, like guys try to like be like, well, I'm if I don't react, I talk about this in my act, but like if I don't react, then she can't get mad at me for not being mad. And then they look at you and you're like this. Darting your head around like a, like a, like a meerkat. And you're like, what? I, I didn't, I didn't say anything. And there's just a scrape in the car that would have never happened if I were driving. It's and it's fine. Are you saying women can't drive? No, that's sexist. I'm saying they don't give a shit about your possess your possessions, right? That's why there's a fucking banana peel in the, in the inside of the fucking car and the thing, and it's this is there, right? And so, but it's fine, whatever. I realize life's about bigger issues. Who cares? It's just a scrape in the door. My wife's a beautiful angel. Who cares, right? She texts me the day before we go in to get the baby out, whatever they call it, inducing, induction, like like it's like a hall of fame, like we're like the baby's getting induced. Women, I'm going to get, I'm going in to get induced, like they like they like they caught some fly balls, you know. I'm going in to get induced, like you're a member of the forty forty club. Like, nah, dude. All right. Oh, hey. Are you my wife or are you Ricky Henderson, dude? We're going to get induced. No, dude. Don't act like you. You don't act like we're going to Cooperstown, dude. They voted. They're, they, they're voted. They want to retire my they want to retire my shirt, which is basically your shirt, because that's all I've been wearing for the past four months. They're going to hang it up. 
I'm going to get induced. So we go and we and and the day before we get induced, she's at Sweet Greens and she texts me. She's like, you know that valet, that guy that doesn't like me? <laughs> she just is making shit up in her head, you know? Hey, you know that valet guy? Hey, women will say some shit where you got to go like, huh, well, hold on. Let me go way back into my catalog and see if I've ever had a conversation about this. And then you go, and then you say, no, I, I don't know. And then they, what? What do you mean? And then you're like, well, okay. I don't see how this is going to work out any fa- at all favorable for me. Or you can just be like, oh, yeah, that guy. And then they keep talking, but then maybe you get caught in a lie. So really, there's no win, right? So it's like, you know, the valet guy that hates me. And I, I go deep. I'm like, I'm on like dial up trying to remember this dude. And I remember the dude. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. You said he was rude and the thing. And so I said, what's up? She was like, don't don't get mad. But I think he scraped the, the car, the Audi. And I, and I say, what the hell? Oh, my God. No way. And I'm pissed, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed, but I'm like, you know what? Before I get mad, let me find out more information about this. So I say, where is it? And she says, on the door. And I said, well, is it below the door? Because if it's below the door, then the good thing is we have to replace that anyway because of, and I'm trying to be very careful, but the bullshit that you did, right? Now, I'm not trying to be a dick, but, right? Because of the way you've been driving, Ray Charles, right? Now, I'm not trying to be a dick. Do you know what I'm talking about? But just the way you pull in the driveway, Helen Keller is an absolute travesty, okay? It's like you might as well have Stephen Hawking behind the wheel, okay? Oh, no. I scraped the side. Even he would be aware of it. No, you're right. I had much more room next to the bloody guts. I should have pulled more to the right. There were five feet. There were there was five there was so much negative space and I instead went left and cut it so close to the gate that the screw sticking out absolutely obliterated under the door of the Audi RS Q8. The car is so expensive this will be so much money. Ya 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 ya. It's going to be so much money and also it it will be a challenge because would you have to would you rather fix it yourself or pay the extremely high deductible on this absolute sports slash luxury car? Ya 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 ya. You're fucked. Ya 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 ya. You're fucked, husband. And also, don't be mad. Ya 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 ya. Commence water coming. Out. Commence eyes raining. Um. Why are you being so mad? It's making my eyes rain. So, um, <laughs> dude, uh, I won't do it once. I'll do it twice. Um, anyway, dude. So I say, all right, well, where is it? She's like, it's on the door. And I was like, well, send a pic. She sends a pic. And to me, it doesn't just look like it's near it. It looks like it's exactly on it. It looks like it's exactly on the scrape. <gasps> Oh, well, lucky us. So I say, babe, that looks like the scrape that you did when you hit the gate. And she says, no, I don't know. I don't think so. And I said, well, you scraped the gate right in the same place. And she says, this one's higher. So I say, okay, you know what I choose? You know what I choose? Happiness. Okay. I'm pissed. But I choose happiness because you know what? You can do that. You can do that. When somebody goes, hey, buddy, fuck you. You could just go like this. No, I choose happiness. So that's what I'm doing. I wait for her to get home. No, you know what I do? I stop at the nail place that she's at because I know she's there and I want to go surprise her. And I also... And this wasn't a secret thing, but I also do want to, see, I do want to see this scrape. I pull over, I go into the nail place. I say, Hey, what's up? And she's like, Oh, what's up? I'm finishing. Hi. Oh my God. Hey, you know? So I say, Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to actually go look at this scrape. She says, okay. I go, I look at the scrape. There's one. It's the same, exa- it's the same exact scrape as the one that she did. 
They didn't do it again. Dude, it's her. It's her. She did it the whole time. It was like the end of The Sixth Sense. You're like, oh my God, it's you? It was like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. At the end, where it's just like, it was, it was her that... That's creepy. Tell me more about that. So now I'm like, oh, oh, I'll go back and say, babe, this is what you did. And she said, it is? And I said, yeah, remember? Use memory. And I know that memory is like, you know, you don't remember the things that you don't need to remember, but hey, check this out. Ow. Ding, 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 ding. Something you need to remember. That was the dumbest one I ever did, dude. <laughs> but dude, hey, check. Dude, oh shit, it's something she needs to remember. Ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, babe, you did this. She said, I did. I said, yeah, don't you remember? And then the thing, and then we got into like a little bit of a thing. And she said, I don't know. I didn't really look. Oh, the disrespect, dude. She didn't look. She didn't know the scrape's been there for months. And now she's getting mad at a guy at the fucking valet guy's name at him. And I'm pissed off at, I gotta be, I'm like, maybe I have to fight this guy. She said, I think he keyed it. So I'm like, we gotta get this baby out of you, dude, because you don't, what's, you've got a potato in your head. Huh? She's like, sorry, I don't even know. I'm just pregnant. It was like so weird. So the that night, I'm on a meeting of a meeting with my for my brain for my addiction. You know, I'm on a Zoom fucking anonymous meeting because I'm a, you know because I'm me. And she knocks on the thing, and now I'm like, I'm in a fucking, I can't, all right. I, she knocks again, all right, open up, and I'm, I said, what's up? She's like, we're going to get the baby out tomorrow. They have an opening. And I was like, oh, shit, awesome. It's like fucking waiting in line to buy a Porsche, you know? They're like, it's here finally. Uh, we can just go in tomorrow and get this baby. So we go in, we get the baby out, and, uh, man, first of the first time I, I we had a kid. It was so emotional for me. So I'm like, dude, it's going to be so emotional. And I know that because I think that, that it's not going to be as emotional as it was because I'm ready. Like, cause I wasn't ready last time. This time he ready. Right. So they say, you know, we get there at 10 PM they they start they give her like a pill in the in it in her like it you know they just literally like go in and drop it off like it's a prescription like they go in they drop it off like it's some film in 1995 they go like hi i'm the midwife uh we're going to start with i had no idea but like i know about uh the balloon thing that they put in women to make the space for the cervix to dilate i'm a doctor dude and uh, they pump it up, you know, pump, 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 pump it up. Joe Budden comes in and he's just like, and 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 on and on, no, 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 no. And so, so before this, because Calvin, when he was born, it took fourteen hours, thirteen hours, but like she was only in hardcore labor or whatever they call it. I'm a doctor, but for like an hour and a half. And that's super quick, especially for the first baby. And they're like, the second one comes quicker. And I'm like, quicker than an hour and a half. I was like ordering Domino's. So they're like, so, all right, you're not really dilating yet. Your cervix is a little bit soft. And But so what we're going to do before we put the balloon in, because Calvin just got the balloon. They just put the balloon in and fucking bump, 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 bump it up. And now this time they're like, we're going to drop a pill in there. Uh, and I was like, what? And they're gonna, we're gonna, they, the, the doctor looked at me, the midwife looked at me and she was like, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop a pill in your wife's pussy. It's going to dissolve. It's going to get a little bit more softer. And then we're going to put in the balloon and we're going to have Joe Biden come in. And I'm like, okay, right? Medical terms. We're going to get the pill. We have, to, we have a pill. We put it in your wife's twat. And then what happens is it dissolves, right? 
We, so we put it in our nappy dog out. It dissolves, right? So your wife, right? We open it up. We look at the hatchet wound. We put it in the hatchet wound, um, right? So what we do is we take this. So there's look, there's a hungry, hungry fried, fried butterfly, right? There's a hungry fried butterfly. So we give this pill to the hungry fried butterfly, and um, and we put and 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 they put the pill in. Dude, by the way, it, like birth, it's so complicated. Like I know it's completely natural, and at the end of the day, that baby's coming out. And you know, back in, I, I, could you imagine having a baby back in like the 1500s? That's why so m the birth rates were like the pack. The fact that these babies survived that, I'll tell you what, man. I'm I was born in 1980. If I was born in, I mean, any earlier than that, yo, dead on arrival. Straight up. Me. I don't, no way. No way. Because there's got to be that point where you're, you know, you're sucking on the umbilical cord shit with your tummy, right? And then you pop out. And by the time you pop out, you're breathing air. You're like, all right, well, what's up with this? But I would have been like, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to, right? Like, I'm sure they had some high tech shit in the eighties where they were just like, we got to, he's coming. We got to get him out. Push, push. They knew shit. But dude, you put me and I'm telling you anywhere from 1945 earlier, I'm not, they don't know enough to get me to come out, dude. They don't know enough. So I'm like, I'm staying in and I'm getting to that point where, you know, it's like, oh, he's got to breathe air now, but like I'm scrunched up against the upper vagina part and I'm like, I'm not coming out. And that's me, DOA, dude. Because I'm smushed up against the upper vagina part. I can't breathe. You know what I'm saying? But they knew what to do and so they were like, all right, do the hoo hoo hee hee hoo hoo hee hee to my mom. So I came out. But I'm just saying, dude, it's so complicated it makes setting up like a fucking PS5 look like eating a banana. Birth is crazy. And, they, and they, you know, it has to be that way. So now there's, you know, there's too many people in the world. But this is why. Because they figured all this shit out. And so, so now they're like, I'm, and they're saying, the, the, what, so they're like, so the pill dissolved and the cervix is very, we're at two centimeters. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put the balloon in and I'm going to just check that. And there we go. And I'm feeling the head and the midwife is like, dude, there's so much shit going on. It's like, I don't even understand. We're going to move it. We're going to move it. So what happens is the cord is, uh, might be below the head and that's bad because the baby's adjusting the heart rate might drop, but, and I'm just like, just, this is so She's like, and then the Wi-Fi went out. And, and so the Wi-Fi is out in the womb. You don't understand what's happening. And it's so much. And you're like, I don't want to know any of this. And they're just telling you because they have to. And in a way, it kind of makes you feel better. But then five hours go by. And they're like, you're at five centimeters. And they say, check on you in a little bit. They leave. My wife's chilling, looking at her phone. And all of a sudden she says, oh, my God. Like a fucking, like an old lady that has just seen the most brilliant, the most brilliant, uh, what do they call them? Bougainvilleas. Just the most brilliant Bougainvilleas she's ever seen in her life. Like a 72-year-old that just walked by and just went, oh my God. Like that's how she looked. <laughs> Bougainvilleas, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking naming something different, you know? Bougainvilleas. Most cock name for a fucking flower. And, uh, like, the Bougainvilleas is like some an island you would go to if you were, like, some fucking r stupid white idiot chick on Instagram that, that has wanderlust in her fucking bio, you know? Wanderlust. You know what wanderlust means? For real? Hooker. That's what that means, I swear to God. If you see a chick bragging about she's into wanderlust, that means she's sucking dick on all of the islands. Wanderlust means hooker. So, fuck yeah, he speaks the truth, man. I swear to God. So, she says, oh my God, like a 72-year-old seeing a bunch of brilliant bougainvilleas. And then, I say, what? And she doesn't say anything. And I'm like, you got to follow that up immediately during now. Or I'm like, what are you looking at online? Like, what's happening? Like, I'm, all sorts of red flags are going. So she says, I think my water broke. And I say, really? And I look, dude, the nurse comes in, peels back the thing. 
it was like it was like you know in the movies when you see water break and you're like okay well you're like that's not how it is they probably just leaks a little it looks like the girl's TTN you know right like you're watching a Julie Roberts movie and the the side character like the water breaks and it's and you're like whoa bro so much water came out that it was like oh how do i say this harrowing you know like i was like oh my god i i had the same feeling i saw on the opening scene of saving private ryan when the guy's looking for his arm because the germans blew it off you know and the nurse was like oh okay and she and then chris was like does that happen which is the number one thing i say does this the normal you know you want to know and she was like does that happen and the nurse was like uh, yeah and i was like it doesn't happen the way she's saying it, though, you know? Say it with more conviction, nurse. Does that happen? Uh, yeah, it can. Oh, but she's... Dude, she's lying. The way she did it. Don't sing it. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... I'm lying. So now I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. So the baby's heart rate went down a little bit. Because all of a sudden the baby was chilling on this sack of water, like a bean bag, just chilling. Love is good, you know? And then all of a sudden, poof, and the and the baby's just like, uh, what's up? This it was five. All of a sudden, Kristen's like, man, you gotta put the epidural, kick it up a notch. And she starts contracting look hard and they were like don't have the baby yet the doctor's not here this is happening so quickly we're gonna call the doctor and chris is like is the doctor close and she's like yeah and so she's having the the the, the contractions and the, the midwife is like just hold it the doctor's not here yet and chris is like i can't i gotta push and then the doctor shows up, and Kristen's like, I can't believe how this is so... She's trying to get her feet... You know, the, the epidural makes your... They stick a syringe in your back, in your uh, spine, and then your legs go numb, which is just like, nah. That's creepy. Tell me more about that. So, so she, the doctor shows up, and the doctor's like, okay, let me look. And she's like, okay, let's have this baby. Um, so, okay, so push. Kristen pushed once. And William was just like, sup. Dude, he came out and just, she pushed one time. And then we, and then the baby was there. And then the baby was so, I mean, so, so purple that I thought he was a California raisin. And I couldn't. It was, and he came out and they were like, he wasn't really crying. And of course I was scared as shit. And they're like, we got to get him to cry more. Hold on. And they're like tickling him. And it took like 40 minutes for him to really just let out that. And then, uh, well, it sounded so good. And so, and then, um, and now he's great. He's so good. He's so healthy. And it's just a beautiful thing. And then after the baby came, her legs went numb. So that's cool. Um... And now her brain fucking works again. Thank God. So now I'm a full fucking family guy. Like, forget it. And I'm still not wanting to go to Coachella, so that's great. I don't... Man, it just... I know I've always been against Coachella. You know that. I'm, I don't want to say I'm against it. I would just never go. Somebody said to me the other day, like, would you go to Coachella ever? And I, I, I was like, fuck no. That seems like my nightmare. I would rather go to Stagecoach than Coachella. That's how much I don't want to go to Coachella because I also am not like a huge fan of country. But like I would rather go to Stagecoach because it seems a little bit more chill. Like I don't want to be listening to like hardcore, like holy shit music. I want to be chilled out. If I'm going to be at a fucking place, I want to be chilled out, right? And you can probably do that at country because there's a lot of slow singing in country, you know? I know there's Frank Ocean and shit, but it's like at Coachella, but... I just, I don't want to go. So, uh, and then I'm looking at these um, pictures of Coachella and 
I see all the hot chicks and I'm like, well, I wanna... <laughs> okay, I don't want to, okay, let's not, <laughs> but you know what I mean? And then uh, I'm like, okay, well, actually, no, okay, I'm happy, actually. <laughs> and uh, And I'm like, what would it take for me to go to Coachella? I think it's just bad, period. Also, I'm 43, right? Or do yeah, 40. They still go though. People fucking live it up in Coachella. People, they were so mad, like rioting because of uh, what's his name didn't have the uh, merch. Frank Oce Ocean, Frank Ocean. Wow, so Mexican. Um, hey, you like that guy Frank Ocean, right? When he drives around in his Chevy. Um, so uh, I don't really know anything about Coachella to be brutally honest with you guys. Did anything interesting happen? No, right? Same shit. We're in holograms. Uh, this whole thing I I looked at, and this was nuts. So let me read this with you. I mean, the whole thing here is insane. Parody Hitman. So wait, this is a parody Hitman website that exists. And there is a national, Air National Guardsman, that, that thought it was real and allegedly applied for murder for hire jobs. First of all, don't do that blindly, okay? Hey, dude, uh, I am a hitman. I'm out of work. This sucks. I'm going to go on Craigslist. That's basically what he said, okay? Hitman will take care of somebody for 100 flowers. Um, so this guy, Josiah, Josiah, Jose, how do you pronounce that? Ernesto Garcia, okay. Uh, eventually agreed to kill someone for $5,000 on a con conversation with an undercover FBI agent. So, all right, this is an FBI agent that's undercover and it's also a parody. So what's the deal here? Kind of weird. Don't really understand it, but as we keep going, Air National Guardsman was arrested and charged Thursday with applying to be a hitman on a parody website. 21, Tennessee came across www.rentahitman.com. Eh. You know? as he was searching for contract mercenary jobs to support his family. Okay. Made me kind of pull down my heartstrings right there. Uh, the U S so, uh, the website was created in 2005 and to advertise a cybersecurity startup, but when it failed, it would get inquiries for hitman services. Okay. So it's administrator converted it to a parody site with false testimonials from people who claim to have used its services. The criminal complaint says, Wow. Wow. Garcia applied on the website for work as a hitman in February, submitting identification documents and a resume. I mean, this guy can just say it was a joke, right? As well as indicating he was an expert marksman, earning him the nickname Reaper, um, and was employed in the Air National Guard since 2021. Okay. Garcia continued to follow up the website for about a month. So how stupid can you be? Even more identifying information, including his home address and a headshot, dude. A headshot. Like it's a State Farm commercial. And eventually agreed to kill someone for $5,000 in, in a conversation with an undercover. So he met, he met up with the guy. Undercover agent. Now, when did they get the undercover agent involved is what I'm saying. Because this whole thing with, wow, and they had a target packet with the fictional individual. Like, this is the guy. No questions. After agreeing to the terms of the murder arrangement, dude, how far was this joke going to go? I killed him. Psych. Joke's on you. No, he's dead, though. Uh... Garcia asked the agent if he needed to provide a photograph of the dead body. Garcia was then arrested by FBI agents. Wow. Bro, he's going to get off because he's just going to be like, nah, I was joking. I just want to see how long, man. This is hilarious, dude, for YouTube, man. It's going to be for YouTube, my first YouTube. Um, Hey, Josiah, outsource it. Um, uh. A headshot, you know? No pun intended. So here's my headshot under special gills. It says, uh, 
beatboxing. And I know you want me to kill a guy, but check this out. <laughs> Dude, when beatboxers do that part, I'm out. I'm out. I can't do it, but when they're like, that part's cool, or the that part but when they go oh, 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 i'm out dude the beatbox part dude <laughs> you know no music does that um <laughs> dude when they hit that shit it's always some fucking it's always always when you're in fucking when you're in elementary school it's always somebody one of the older kids and he's got bad breath and shit just oh, 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 and you're like, oh god damn, that smells plastic. <laughs> well, Quadir, yeah, he, he does it well, but my god, don't get close to him when he does it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dude, if you're not the only new, new tasting, um, <laughs> if you're not the only new, just ate beef jerky, um. <laughs> wow man wow oh fuck man <laughs> dude everyone's such a fucking moron in this life for anyone to judge anyone is insane dude and this guy's just trying to you're trying to rent a hit man rent dude remember to return me Ah, here we go. Oh, man. Lawyer, what are you? <laughs> Hold on, dude. <laughs> Come on. This can't be. The lawyer said it? The law, <laughs> dude, and somebody said, <laughs> nah, a lawyer in the. YSL trial really told the judge he capping. Hold on. I will start by saying that this assertion that. Oh, I fucking cut out. What is this YSL trial? Oh, Young Thug. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. He, he, he got arrested or whatever. They say Thug is going to get thrown under the jail. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Where's the uh, fucking Wi-Fi? Dude, black Twitter is hilarious. I will start by saying that this assertion that... Come on, dude. Oh, man, I want to see this so bad. Yo, in the meantime, leave a comment about how shitty the fucking Wi-Fi is and we have to fix it. Fix it. So like and subscribe, though, and yeah, I'll be in Nashville. But anyway, dude, why won't this fucking go, dude? And I'm on the good one, too. I'm on... Oh, dude, yes, it's not working right when I wanted to. Fucking literally ruined the whole bit. Yes, dude. 100% ruining the bit. It's still color wheeling. Yes, man. Oh, dude, come on. Work. Oh, my God, dude. It's 2023. You know that whole thing that Louis C.K. said? Oh, be happy. You're in an airplane. The Wi-Fi doesn't work. You're 30,000 feet in the air. This is unbelievable. You live in an awesome... Dude, no. Don't have this shit... Until it works. My Wi-Fi should be working. But it's not. And if I were to say my Wi-Fi working, that's capping. Why would it not be working right now? Okay, I'll go into fucking... Then you know what? I'll go into Safari. Because I usually use Chrome, if I'm brutally honest. And I'm going to use Safari. Thanks for sticking with me, guys, during these hard times. I'm pausing it on Chrome. And I'm going in, sitting on Chrome. And I'm going into the... Here we go. We go into the fucking, uh, what is it, Safari? Surfing Safari, yeah. Oh, and it's not even going. It's not even starting on Safari. I haven't updated. I honestly haven't updated my computer in, in so long. I think I have fucking Birdie, which is like one of the first ones. They're on like White Snow Leopard now. And I, got, I, I literally have fucking Beetle. Wow, dude. There's a little Apple humor for you. You know what? I'll tell you this much. How about the guy? Dude, please work. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. It's not working. Come on. 
I will start by saying I, I like already. By the way, I, I'm I'm starting it over just to at least the the how you you can tell how. He's trying to sound, you can tell he's trying to sound smart. You can tell this guy also has a voice with his friends. That's the best. And that's as racist as we get in this podcast. I will start by saying that this assertion that I did not mention the 4 3 argument. Don't worry about that, okay? Because it wouldn't be, it, I'd have to do it anyway. So okay. don't even worry about that, okay? Okay. I was just saying that it's just not true. It's, it's, it's cap, to be honest. <gasps> but um, that aside, though, um, I- <laughs> oh uh, my god dude the stenographer just like this <laughs> capital puts in capital letters i will start the way he's trying to suppress his you know what i'm saying um i right, so check it out so all right so look I agree we have all come here today, you know. By saying that so many this w- assertion that so, I did not mention the 4 3 argument. Don't worry about that. First time okay, you ever said the word it assertion. Be, it, I'd have to do it anyway, so okay. don't even worry about that, okay? Okay. I was just saying that it's just not true. It's, it's, it's cap, to be honest. But, um, <laughs> Dude, clears aside, it. He says um, it's not true I, first, and then says it's cap. Uh, the other way. You know, it's just not true. So let's it's uh, it's cap to be honest, Judge, uh, Your Honor, um, dude, I I I can't even. Somebody wrote the first thing, dead ass, Your Honor. <laughs> Is that what you're laughing at, <laughs> dude? You know what I'm saying? We bleed New York, dog, right? So like, check this out, Judge. Dead ass, man. We gonna be doing a trial, right? And that's that's all good. That's that ain't you know not for nothing. My man's, my man's and them. He ain't do shit. All right. If you say he did, that's cap. Um, you know what I mean. You talking about did he do it or did he do it? Do it right. So the difference is right. It's like crazy dog. Psh, after after the verdict comes in, guilty. Psh, I'll try hard, Your Honor. I don't know what you're talking about. Cap. Uh, I mean, dude, how do you say that to a judge? That's the funniest fucking thing. That's just not true. That's that's cap, Your Honor. I want. I have to listen to it again. I mean, I will start by saying that this assertion that I did not mention the four three argument. Don't worry about that, okay? Because it wouldn't be. It, I'd have to. How do much it is anyway, the lawyer twenty five? So okay. Don't even worry about that, okay? Okay. I was just saying that it's just not true. It's it's, it's cap, to be honest. But um, that aside, though. I mean, um, I- gonna lose. <laughs> oh, I, I, my mind. This is. Imagine you're you're on trial for murder. What is it? Stealing? What is it? I don't fucking know. And your lawyer says to the fucking judge, yo, judge, that's cap. You go like this. 25 to life. 25 to life. You, you get ready. You, you start getting ready. You know what I mean? He's like, I got to put my stuff in. I got to my, get my stuff in order. See what's going on here because I'm going 25 to life. That's. Did this make it? Did this go viral? How did this not go viral? Somebody wrote, "You're bugging with these charges, Your Honor." <laughs> Dead ass. All right. Well, that's absolutely insane. That is so fucking funny. I was just no. I was thinking about the guy who got that fucking apple tattoo. When I was doing though, because I'm on White Lotus instead of uh, the whatever. Like, I mean, I can't. I would do. I got We got the thing right. We got to change the thing. Dominic Fike got the apple tattoo on him. Uh, he got the apple tattoo on him, the logo. So if he has, so he's a, he's on Euphoria, and he. 
they have to cover it every time. Why would you get the fucking Apple to a low any logo on you is batshit crazy. Remember the, the the basketball player that had to got the Supreme logo and then Supreme sued him. And it's just it's a brand, man. That is pretty cool, I guess. I need to get one. I got to get. You know what I got to get? Fucking uh What's that? Arpo? The dog Harpo? What's the dog food? What's the dog food? Alpo. I'm going to get Alpo on my fucking forehead. Alpo, dude. Yo, what up? I'm gonna, and then I'm going to take pictures like this. Yo, when I see a fucking guy take a pic like this, I lose my shit. And also, is that to show like, I, I feel like it originated to show the fucking... Grills, dude, it's evolved to the guys just do it. You're showing your gums, dude. Hey, you're gross, dude. All, wh when you do this, you're showing it. Hey, your dentist is supposed to see that. Hey, dude, don't ever show me inside your body unless you're, uh, unless, unless I'm a doctor. I was like this. Or like this. What guys do like this? Oh, man. People really out there thinking they're models, right? People are really out there just. Dude, I got to start taking pictures like this near my car like this. And then one like this. Dude, imagine, <laughs> imagine if I unironically took a pic like that. Or fuck, God damn it, dude. I'm just waiting for one of these comedians to lose their minds and fucking do some shit like that and start thinking that they're really real. Dude, I, what's up with starting a set so late with artists? Like, dude, they're like, yo, 8 o'clock, but also 11. As you are no doubt aware, many, Frank Ocean, many Coachella attendees were disappointed with Frank Ocean's headline set last night, which started an hour late and featured stretches of the performer just vibing to pre-recorded tracks. Slazy. Now come reports that the festive owl in TMZ that in the days before his performance, Ocean suffered a serious ankle injury. Okay. Okay. Understood. One of the changes involved nixing an onstage ice rink. Okay, well, you know, don't have that. 100 LA-based hockey players had been rehearsing on an elevated ice rink at Paramount Studios, but were told upon a rope. They joined the set as background dancers and were given, I mean, a Prada bag. Okay, I don't. Yeah, dude, I agree with this. Okay, I totally agree with this shit. There's people that just like critics pick. Dude, critics are such horseshit. And they pick these people that are just like this one comment right here. Can the untouchable critic darling status go away now? I love Frank Ocean, but it's been close to 10 years since his last album. First of all, I didn't know that it has. That's fucking Dude, there's some people that just can't do wrong. It's crazy. I, I don't know one Frank. I know one Frank Ocean song. But man, these motherfuckers just get anointed, you know? Just anointed. Like uh, Timothy Sport Chalet or whatever the fuck his name is. Sport Chalet, we take it to the limit. Here's another. All right, let's do some deserve it scales. Here's one on TikTok. So you know it's going to be good. That's Cap Lawyer. Shit. Oh, holy shit, oh, dude. Oh, fuck. Are you good? Dead. Unclear. Oh, he, my God. Dude, dude, did he say I'm clear? Wow, dude. We got to see that again. Shit. Oh, holy shit, dude. Are you good? Unclear. Oh, oh, unclear. Oh, shit. Died. Yo, that's fucked up. Thank God he had a helmet on. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That was horrific. Nobody deserves that, honestly. Um, That's, I mean... 
bowling. Oh, this is an asshole move. What a piece. The mom. Ooh, that is an ultimate 10 plus deserve it scale. What a piece of shit. Also with that hair that everyone has, you know? The mom. <laughs> the mom. What a piece of fucking shit, dude. Honestly, I could stand to get, have him get hurt a little bit more even. Like the fucking, I love how the edge of the TV went right in his skull. Thank God for that. Okay. And for, for him to windmill a bowling ball. And the mom, dude, just had it. Listen to that. Nick. Nick. Just had it up to here. Nick. Boom. Fuck yeah. Hell, hell yeah. The TV hit him with that stupid bowling animation, you know? Just like a, a cloud coming out of the ball or some shit. Turkey. And then a turkey. Dude. Deserved it. I wish karma was that quick all the time. I wish it was that quick all the time. You know how much better the world would be if karma was legit that quick? Fuck yeah. Okay, here's another deserve it scale. That's a that was the best deserve it scale we ever had. <clears throat> that one isn't showing. Her, um, here we go. Sliding down. <laughs> you like this one? Is that? <laughs> oh, what did he think was gonna? What language is that? You know. Oh fuck! His asshole came out. You know, just straight up, his asshole came out. Ah, bad friends. All these guys. Oh, these guys are dying. Is that a made-up language? Okay, so that's. Uh, it looked like he got real hurt, so eight. I will say, otherwise it would be higher. I mean, dude, his whole fucking ass came out. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! Imagine that's your dad. See, so now it's locked in place. I just walked right. Well, I got hit twice in the head. That's how bad that was. You got hit with the ladder and the. Fucking ship. See, now it's locked in place. He just walked right up. And then he drowned, you know? <laughs> just fucking, just, oh my God, lights out for that guy. Hey, guy, put the ladder on a little more securely, you know? Hey, hey, captain, move the boat closer. It was so far away. Oh, he's wearing overalls, you know? God, when, when things happen to guys with overalls, it's always a little bit sweeter. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a... I hope he didn't get hurt. That's a nine, though. Well, that's it for YouTube. If you want the full episode, the uncut, the raw-ish, then go to patreon.com slash crystalia, and you will get the entire episode. And also, uh, if you do that, you can get all of the backlogged episodes of Congratulations and there's like 26 of them now that you could just go binge if you're on a road trip or chilling. They also make good gifts. It's just six bucks. Uh, Patreon.com slash Crystalia. Thanks, guys.